Hi guys, um, today is the last day of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Um, today is uh, the spotlight is on the small manufacturers. Let's check it out. The famous Grey Cat. The Slick. P-52 Snub Fighter Kruger Merlin. It is attached to all Constellation ships. The Argo MPUV. It operates around massive long haul ships that cannot land or dry dock. Cumbrel Cyclone TR for turrets. RN for reconnaissance. AA for anti aircraft. The baseline model. The only one that has cargo. The Cyclone RC for racing. Features a modified intake system to allow for controlled burst of speed. Consolidated Outlands, the underdog manufacturer, with newly redesigned Mustang lineup with exploration, racing, and military variants. Not to mention the Pioneer. A self-contained mobile construction yard capable of creating planetary modular structures ushering a new wave of aspiring colonists to customize their new homes on the frontier. Um, today was the last day of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It was, it was cool. The, how can I say, um, the initiative was really great. Uh, the fact that CIG listened to uh, what people wanted to see. Um, I wanted to see an expo in game and that's what he did. It was perfect. Um, they showcased great ships, uh, the classic ones, the one we always see. But what was amazing is the, the ones that are or concepted or incoming. Um, I'm talking about the Hawk, um, the F7A, uh, which will be in Squadron 42, the F8 was, uh, was a nice surprise. Um, the uh, amazing and impressive uh, Idris M. Uh, for the rest, it was all the ships that we all know. Um, they could have done a lot better by showing more ships that are, um, that, are, that, are that are already um, on standby, but that, that have advanced. I'm talking about the Hull, Hull C, Hull D. Um, uh, and other, other other ships, you know, all they have, the, the ones they already have, they showcase them. So I'm not gonna rant on this again. But uh, that was the little lacking part. For the rest, uh, great event, uh, good idea. Um, I hope they that it would have been a little more polished uh, by being, um, how can I say, you know, a lot of ships had their gears, landing gears through the the ground but i can understand that they didn't have much time and they had to uh, they had to slap that uh into game quickly and every day have to change the uh, the, the the ships and, and and set it up so without bugs so it was bug free that's for sure but um it was it was it was not polished it was it wasn't something <laughs> why is it that every time i do some text somebody just crashes around <laughs> anyways um, it was nice going and I'm not gonna go any further I'm hoping to see all those ships the freelancers uh, the Hawk um, and uh, what which one am I missing uh, it doesn't matter next month <laughs> we're already in December so uh, it's gonna be in a few days um, and for those who are evocati they're gonna try to check it out really quick so um, uh, that was a good event but they could have done amazing an amazing expo they could have done an amazing one if they wanted to uh, showing the, the, the that's it I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm already starting <laughs> like where where's my uh, where's my uh, Kraken you know so yeah rise above <laughs> okay um, thank you guys for following this uh, week for me, was uh, it was quite a um, a 
a marathon, uh, slacking uh, episodes after episodes. Um, I'm almost at 20 now, so uh, next milestone, I guess. Um, thank you guys for following. Thanks for the comments. Um, I'll see you soon. See ya. Cheers.